morning guys, welcome back to Out and About with Andy. Today we're having a look round Ibiza Old Town. We're going to check out some of the old buildings and uh, architecture and a bit of the culture. Ibiza Town is the vibrant capital of the island of Ibiza. But that's not why we're here today. We're not here to see the modern town, no, we're heading up to the old quarter of Dolphia. We're going to attempt to go all the way to the top and reach the stunning cathedral, but first, let's explore the UNESCO-listed Renaissance-era fortifications. Founded by the Phaeacians 2,500 years ago, other cultures have also left their mark on Dolphia, including the Moors and the Romans. Like I say, at this point we've reached the top, but if you see behind me, we haven't. These so guys have got all the cannons up here, here to defend the city from uh, invaders. Tourists as they're known these days. I could have happily listened to this lady all day. Such haunting melodies. Cheers, pal. So while we're up here, we seem to have gear crashed somebody's wedding. Congratulations folks, and what a fantastic place to get married. Right then, us half-baked Brits have sat in the shade for a little while, onwards and upwards. It's a bit of a pull up here, and there's a good few zigzags to go. So guys, look at that fantastic view. It's not, I'm not stopping just because I'm out of breath, honestly. More climbing fat lad, let's go. Are we at the top yet? Nope. But very nearly. This section had everyone fooled. The climb takes you up to some fantastic viewpoints, but no access to the rest of the town. Back down we go. So folks, I've left the uh, the other half at a cafe, a cafe bar, and um, which is having a bit of a read, which is great for me because it means I'm free to do more photography. Um, yes, give me a camera and some whitewashed buildings and cobbled streets, and I'm a happy boy. I am, however, less happy about all these steps. Oh look, there's the wedding couple we saw earlier. So folks, I'm not doing much vlogging at the moment, mainly because everywhere I look there's a photograph and I'm also doing a video for my photography channel. So uh, yeah, the camera is clicking away and uh, I'm not talking to you guys very much. Never mind, I'm sure you'd rather look at these pretty little streets anyway. There was clearly some renovation going on in Dolphia when we visited. 
Despite the age of the old town, it is occupied by residents like any other part of the city. So I continued towards the cathedral and another viewpoint. So finally guys, made it to the top. Cathedral behind me there. Fantastic view over the harbour. <sighs> got to say though, definitely got my steps in today. Having reached the cathedral, we were unable to get into it, and I'll explain why in a moment. So after that big climb, unfortunately, we can't get into the cathedral because the, the wedding that we saw earlier must have been pre-wedding. That's actually taking place right now in the cathedral. So uh, yeah, it's closed at the moment. So uh, we'll have a look around some more of the, uh, yeah. the battlements and uh, yeah, check those out. What is surprising to see are these buildings behind me which are all modern. They're like the bet, they're going to be very much out of most people's uh, price ranges when they're finally completed. What a place to live, wouldn't it be absolutely fantastic? So I think this is possibly the highest point of the outer wall, so we'll have a look. You know I'm not one for height, so uh, yeah, this is everything I do for YouTube. Righty, this is quite uh, tricky. So there you go guys, don't think you get much higher than this. And we've got the absolutely fantastic Abitha mountains in the background there. Right then. Back to the cathedral and we'll see if the happy couple have left the building. No, not yet. Oh wait, here they come. Photo shoot over, it was time to step inside Cathedral de Avizia, and it was definitely worth the wait. This cathedral was founded in the 14th century, but not completed until the 16th century. Whilst most architecture buffs will confirm that this cathedral does indeed look like a 16th century building, however it does feature panels by 14th century artist Frances Cornes, and two further from the 15th century representing St James and St Matthew. So folks, I'm on my way back down from the top and uh, about to uh, meet up with uh, Mrs Out and About with Andy. Try not to slip. These uh, stones quite polished and there's traffic coming up the other direction usually. Like this. Yep, 
but leave it not the streets like this, there's still traffic and he's just done another 90 degree turn and gone up another road mad, absolutely madness up there but uh, this was the UK I think this bit would be completely pedestrianised by now um, at this point I was half tempted to call into this tiny bar for some much needed refreshment instead I thought better of it and uh, headed off to find Mrs Out and About with Andy I'd certainly like to say I returned the way I came but this time my inbuilt GPS was well out of whack without a map Yes, I ended up lost and uh, finally ended up here on Calais de la Conquista. Had I not made an error, I would not have found myself outside the old El Palacio Hotel. Here you find rows of handprints. Aside from Penelope Cruz, most are Spanish or German celebrities lost on most of us Brits. Ordinary people, just like you and I, clearly didn't want to feel left out, so have used the whitewash walls to leave their own messages. It certainly makes for a unique look to this street. I finally found Mrs Out and About with Andy at this little cafe bar. Very pleasant establishment where we relaxed, had a drink and ate some excellent food. So guys, those of you who are really observant will have noticed that this isn't a Ibiza. Yes, that's right, I forgot to do an outro piece while we were there walking around the old town. So yeah, welcome to uh, the editing room where uh, all the magic happens. Kind of. Suffice to say, if you are in Ibiza uh, next year, then please do take time out to take a trip to the old town it really is worth it if you love old buildings and things like that churches and of course all the battlements you get a great view of Ibiza town itself and um, well worth doing yes it is a lot of uphill walking but uh, ultimately I think it's worth uh, taking a, uh, a trip there getting to Ibiza town isn't difficult either Luckily from Escana we had a few options, we could have taken the water taxi or ferry, whatever you want to call it, or take the bus, which is what we did. Luckily the tourist information officer was really helpful, uh, told us exactly which buses to get on, where to get off, not in that way. It was only something like three and a half euros, something like that, to get to Ibiza town, which I think was uh, quite reasonable. So yes, definitely visit Ibiza town, it's a must. Especially if you're one of those Instagram people because everybody and their dog was taking shots um, with the view behind them or were taking shots in archways and things like that. Got a bit annoying actually. So of course if you've got this far into the video thank you very much for watching and uh, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and of course uh, if you're not subscribed to the channel by now subscribe it's free it doesn't cost you a thing and you get to see more travel content or any of the other content to produce, like days out, and uh, events, all that type of thing. So yeah, I'll catch you in the next video. Bye for now.